Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Banish the Skies of New Eden with us being in the fort. We already have had a couple of conversations in the last episode. I guess this is how it is going to go on in today's episode. Um, for the archives, whichever records, reports, and other documents were transported from New Eden are now locked upstairs in the armory. For access, see me, Captain Pennington. Note regarding archives. Ah, the RE in emails, etc. does mean regarding, right? Maybe? I don't know. What does it for? Anyways, doesn't matter now. How often, Abigail, must we have this fight? How often must we argue? We shall argue until you hear me. I hear you all too well. I hear a hoggish harridan, a narrow nag, a selfish shrew. One of these days, I shall poison your soup. And the day before, I'll take you to the highest cliff and push you off it. Please excuse my husband. He really is as unpleasant as he sounds. And who are you, then? At Red McCraith, ma'am. I'm a banisher. Are you, indeed? Pleased to meet you, Mr. Banisher. I'm Abigail Rumble. Thanks to you, me and my husband should soon be able to go back to our mountains. You and your husband prefer an isolated life outside the fort. I have a roof above my head, my belly is rarely empty, and I live by my beliefs. We suffered for many years. By comparison, this is bliss. Do you not find it dangerous out here? Just the two of you alone. I thank you for your concern, but we live how we live, and it makes us quite contented. Your husband won't mind us talking. No. Why would he? We are faithful and trustworthy. As, I'm sure, are you. She doubts your intentions. No need to worry about me, ma'am. I'm spoken for. Good. We understand one another. My husband and I are very close. Very close indeed. Then you have my admiration. Sustaining such closeness takes much tolerance and hard work. You don't know how good you've got it. Anything top worthy around these parts? Ferdinando Miller has been the talk of the town lately. He has had much good fortune, and many resent him for it. I like the lad. He's polite, helpful, listens to his customers. He deserves no backbiting. What's your thoughts on Pennington? A good leader? He gave John a job. That was good. We hadn't worked since we left the Bly place. He saw John's promise, and gave him his chance. I, I'd say he's a good leader. Helen Priest seems to get the work done. The captain trusts her with his life. So do I. John adores her. When the fort was attacked, she proved us right. I like having a strong woman in charge. Yeah, that's a point. I'll let you get back to your day, madam. If you need anything, feel free to ask. We already are through all them options. I'd still like to take with her, ah, to take, to talk to her husband, wherever that dude ran off to. Okay, we'll crack on from going in a circle, otherwise if I go from left to right to left to right to right to left, 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 right, right, I, I'm sorry, that then I'm gonna lose the view on where I have already been. We have been there, we've been here, I'm gonna take a look here, if that is being, if I'm able to open it up. Okay, I think we've already been here, right? 
Madam, though you do not know me and I'm not you, I'm told by we were not here. By my commander, officer, that you are Williams, a new train band, a good man and brave. It is said indeed that he is dead. On sorry, so blah, 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 we shall remember young. And always quick to volunteer, never complaining, no matter the hardship imposed on him. There is no soul. Okay, we already have been here. Good. Sorry, that took a second. I, you know, I, I saw that we here, I realized it and then I thought, no, maybe not. Stupid me. Fernando's? And that then is a good Both. coincidence. Are we in the right place? Try next door. That looks so amazing, the little jar up there. It looks quite nice. Anyone home? No one. Papers in Miller's name. We're in the right place. Keep looking. He's organized. Disorganized traders lose money. Fardy reads English extensively. Well, nobody's perfect. What is this? A sansa. It's a musical instrument. It's Bantu from Southern Africa. Deed of ownership, herewith remarked and confirmed that ownership of the store here to for known as the property of Mistress Rebecca Hartgrave, hopefully that is Mistress, now passes entirely and without encumbrance to Ferdinando Miller, confirmed by the relevant legal authority, meaning me to be requested as it um, as, as is required when circumstances permit, as Pennington. A piece of wood carved in the form of an amulet by but not yet finished. He's making protective amulets. He's making useless trinkets. And he works hard to keep it away. Maybe she tried to harm him. Let's search the store. If we are able to get there. Stock to trade. He hasn't unpacked it. Maybe he intends to move on. And who could blame him? Yeah, who could blame him? Let's see, Ferdinando, investigate. Okay, yeah. Uh, here we have something that is trying to rid himself of a ghost. And that ghost we know. Or the ghost, well, maybe we do not know it, but we have met her, right? Now, are we able... Wait. Ah. And now we can, I see, now we can get here from the other side. Sorry, that took a second for me to understand. Did I? Wait. Okay. I thought beneath the bed was something then let's go around hello surprisingly high quality wares can't be many left in new eden with the means to buy Anything else? Yep, before we go to the clue. Ferdinand's register, Indoor's shop, luggage and jewelry box 5 and 50, blacksmith luggage and furniture, Ingersoll's shop, Rebecca's paintings and portrait, blacksmith Rebecca's calligraphy kit 1 and 4. He was doing surprisingly well for himself. Where did he get the inventory? Well, that's a good question, right? Now, last will and testament, I, Mistress Rose, write Rebecca Hartgrave in the town of New Eden, being of sound mind and firm intention, bequeathed to Ferdi Ferdinando Miller in the e um, eventuality of my death, my entire estate, including, but not limited to the following um, items, jewelry box, painting mirrors, a collection of books, uh, all baggage and their contents, a calligraphy set, sultry furniture, any and all cash money as held in my possession or in my business or with any bank, etc. Rebecca's will. She was rich. She left him the lot. That's where he got the inventory. No. 
The list matches his sales record. Touch my money and I'll drop you. What are you doing here? Thieving, no doubt. I'm no thief, Mr. Miller. I'm the Banisher. I brought Helen Priest back to the fort. A Banisher? Thieves lie. How do you know my name? It is my business to know. Red McCraith. If you are a Banisher of Ghosts, I have business for you. I'll pay. Aye. I know about Rebecca. It was she who sent me to find you. She worries for you. Says she loves you. The English have a word for that. Hogshite. If not for love, why did she bequeath you her fortune? Whichever. It matters not. You're a banisher. It is your job to get rid of her. Can you not just do your work? Easy, Mr. Miller. Now, I'll need to examine Rebecca's belongings. I sold them. All of them. You did? To who? I don't know. People. I wrote it down. In the register. Read it, if you wish. Two recent sales to the blacksmith and to Ingersoll's store. Okay, let's take a quick look what he has. Your stuff looks good. Let's trade. Now, my friend, we are conversing. Is there anything? Yeah, okay. I assume that all of this is important, but for now, I don't need what to. I don't know what to buy. A storekeeper hears much. What do you hear, Mr. Miller? I'm a busy man. If you have a question to ask, then ask it. What can you tell me about Captain Pennington? He has no problem with me. I have no problem with him. He respected Rebecca's wishes. He gave me what was mine. My freedom. Her estate. He saw me as a man and signed the papers to say so. And when them who saw different complained, he laid down the law. What think you of Helen Priest? I don't think of Helen Priest. I stay out of her way. I hope she'll stay out of mine. How are things in the fort, by your estimation? Look around you. Things are desperate. Have you heard the sound of their bodies crashing against the wood? I am a man of courage. I have endured much. But this... It undoes me. I don't know what you people have done to this country. But there's little hope. And no way out. You've put quite the effort into protecting your home, haven't you? You poked about my house without my say-so. I know my business. So out of generosity, here's the truth. None of it works. Not the wreath, not the amulet. None of it works. Pretty, though. His brooch is working. It works. She hasn't come back. I can sleep now. I hear her calling, whispering my name. I wait to find her at my bedside. Our eyes meet. She stares. She won't leave me alone. She's an Akishi, a demon. Banish her. I'll pay you. I need a job. I accept. All right, okay. Farewell to you, Mr. Miller, sir. You know where to find me. If you're buying, I'm selling. Okay, but first of all, we are going to talk to Captain Pennington. sold it all. Everything she'd owned. And fast. Is he wiping the slate clean and moving on? If we track her things down, perhaps they'll tell us. Yeah, alright, but 
you guys that is then gonna bring us to the end of today's episode and you know it i as usual really really thank you for watching if you guys actually do have enjoyed today's episode then please give me a little tinsy thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully i see you in the next episode until then i wish you all a wonderful day stay frosty bye